So, Italy beat Denmark in the U21 in the Euro. It started today and they won 2-0. What's up everybody? I'm Marco Messina. And I'm Michael Cantaros. And welcome back to Italian Football TV where, like Michael said, Italy just got a nice 2-0 victory with an amazing goal from Pellegrini. Oh, nice bicycle kick. That was Michael, amazing. show them how it went. It was like one of these. One of those, something like that. Back, that's what we're talking about. Uh, and the second goal came from Petania. Both goals did come in the second half as it wasn't the most entertaining match. Um, it was pretty boring, but in the second half, uh, Italy did the job got a 2-0 victory and are tied at the top of the table in their group with Germany, who also got a win earlier today against Czech Republic, a 2-0 win, so they're even on goal difference. But yeah, like I was saying, not the most entertaining match, filled with some drama of uh, Dolaruma, who during the match in the first half, a group of Milan fans threw some fake money at Donnarumma while he was in goal. Uh, pretty embarrassing, pretty, uh, it, it stole the show a little bit. It was because uh, they were right behind Donnarumma and throwing the fake match. money at him, and they're probably yelling and get uh, I don't know. So much drama was going on. Yeah. Like anyway, one of uh, the positives that I saw was the captain Benassi. I thought he had a good game as well as Gallardini. Overall, it wasn't great, but I, I, those two stuck out for me. And also Federico Chiesa, who came in the match, um, and he, he brought a little a spark of creativity, which for me Bernadeschi was not doing anything in this match, and uh, Chiesa did do that. And the first matches are always very hard, though. It Italy is. is not good at starting off tournaments well. No, they're, they're not. usually on the back foot. But yeah. yeah, like you were saying, Chiesa also got the assist for Petania as well, yeah. for the second goal. And he had a few shots. He was very electric on the left wing over there. Yeah, but uh, overall, what did you think about the match? It, it was boring, but they got the job done at the end yeah. of the day. They won 2-0. Kind of comfortably, I guess. The defense was pretty good. They had a pretty nice defensive line. But I feel like Denmark just wasn't that good, to be honest. I feel like they didn't do anything. And, and maybe it's because we hyped the game up a little bit, too. Well, like, that, we're so excited with that lineup. I think that starting lineup was amazing. It was Come beautiful. It was, it was star studded, uh, but yeah, wasn't wasn't a lot of fluidity. Uh, it got better after the goals, I think. It opened up after they scored the two goals. In but the yeah, second half. yeah, in the yeah. second half. Not too much uh, to really talk about or comment on that, but that was Italy against Denmark. The next game for Italy in these Euros U21 uh, tournament is Wednesday against the Czech Republic. And again, they did lose today against Germany 2-0. I know Patrick Schick was playing in that game. Uh, so it'll, it'll be a fun one to watch. Hopefully Italy will build as this tournament continues to go and we're gonna be following it because there's yes. a lot of bright talent. Hopefully we start seeing them play better as a unit and we'll keep you informed. So as always guys, comment below your thoughts if you did get to check out the match. what do you think about that Donnarumma situation? Be sure to put it below. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao ragazzi.